Hi everybody, it's me with a new video from the Doom Glitch series. In this episode I'm going to figure out how DOSBox reacts to the incorrectly tagged doors from Doom. If you watched my previous video you might have noticed the conversation between me and Damus Calma Black. We stopped to use comments and continued with private messages. He wrote about a file called Lordos he created and attached some interesting screenshots of DOSBox glitching out after exploiting the line diff bug. Good thing he has sent me the what file he was using so I can try it out myself. I've used different DOSBox versions starting from 0.5 to get some interesting crashes caught on tape, but I discarded the idea very quickly. Simply because those goddamn versions were too stable to crash! <sighs> okay, okay. One week later I came back and now watch what kept me busy for quite a time. Let's start with DOSBox 0.5 and load up Doom. And that's it. It's stuck. However, the status window complains about some trap flag not being supported by the CPU. Not sure if it is something to do with the actual CPU of my computer or the emulated one by DOSBox. Whatever the cause is, it's a dead end. <coughs> DOSBox 0.65 is younger by a few years and its development more advanced. Doom starts up without any problem and we can check out the LOL DOS what. The attempt to activate a door leads to this infinite loop of errors. DOSBox is still working in the background but so slow and it doesn't process user input anymore. Interesting though, even the task manager claims the CPU usage is around 20% on my system. The fan goes like crazy! With temperatures up to 80 degrees Celsius, or for users from the United States, 180 degrees Fahrenheit, it has a hard time to cool a computer. Is that really an infinite loop and does it go on forever? Everything has its limits, especially in the DOS era. Because I had some time to waste, I simply let it go on. Meanwhile, I did something in the house like cleaning the toilet... ...or the windows... Or doing the wash. <coughs> After 10 minutes of waiting, the illegal read errors has stopped. And guess what? The game is just running fine! If we hit the door yet another time, it starts all over. <laughs> no, no, we won't do that again. DOSBox 0.7 doesn't go very far. I was not prepared that it stops working after a few lines before I actually read what it's trying to tell me. There are just 2 megabytes of memory for the virtual DOS setup in the config file and that's why the memory manager itself can't start up. After the change from 2 to 3 megabytes, the memory manager itself can load, but now fails because it tries to allocate 3.7 megabytes and Doom can't run with less memory. Isn't it somehow nostalgic to read the insufficient memory messages in the year 2013? Back then it seems like every program favorite error message was about not enough memory. If you give DOSBox the memory it needs the same loop of errors as in 0.65 occurs. So let's move on to the last step, DOSBox 0.73, the version they Miss Coma Black used. At least I could solve the misery of the screenshots with the play card symbols he have sent. This version of DOSBox doesn't seem to read the config file properly and you have to set up the CPU cycles by hitting CTRL and F12. By doing so, there's a chance to screw up your keyboard settings. It's very hard to type things because some operation buttons like backspace make weird characters appear too. But by hitting the same buttons or by simply smashing random keys on your keyboard, you can get back to normal characters.
0.73 is not crashing or getting stuck at all. It only stops for a split second and is back to normal. Well, not totally normal. There's a notable problem with the pitch of the door sounds and the music is glitching out for a brief moment sometimes. But that's it. And that's also with this episode of Doombox Glitching Crashes. Goodbye to everyone. Thank <laughs> you.